The FIFA 22 market is so low right now and it's probably going to drop even more. If you want any cheap and reliable ultimate team coins, make sure to check out mulefactory.com. There's a link in the description. They have the best prices and make sure to use my discount code IHAS5 at checkout for a discount. What is up? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. And if any of you have been active on FIFA, or looked at the price of your players, you have definitely lost coins. The market right now is just dropping hard and hard. Basically, most players are fodder at the moment. Nobody is really worth anything. I believe there's only like eight gold players that are worth more than 100,000 coins. And what, it's the start of November. The game's only been out for, what, two months and prices are already this low. One culprit for this crash is actually the preview packs. So obviously at the start of the year, you just get your standard gold preview packs. You can look at these every day, they refresh, and you'll probably find nothing. Most of the time, you won't really actually open your pack. Like if we look here, there's literally no point in me opening this pack. It's literally worth nothing. But EA did actually bring out these 50K preview packs a couple days ago, and these are actually pretty good. So I actually opened my first preview pack. I got one of the rule breaker cards and an inform and Muller. Literally, you think that's a big pack. I probably only got back about 55,000 coins, but it was worth it. So a lot of people are opening these preview packs, getting some coins because they're realizing you can get around 50K from them. They're quite fun, it's worth opening. And this is forcing the market down even lower. As you can see, this preview pack, literally no point me buying. There's what, the most expensive player in here is Martinez and what's he going for? Like 2,000 coins, 3,000 coins. It is a very dead pack, but the market is crashing. People are panic selling. It's all just fueling the market to go lower, lower and lower. You'll find this is more of a problem on PlayStation. If you guys are on Xbox, the market isn't actually too bad. It's just more on PlayStation. There's obviously more people on the market. As we can see, there's nearly 7 million current listings on the market, which is ridiculous. I'm not sure what Xbox is, but I doubt it's any more than about 5 million. So the PlayStation market is crazy. It's full of a load of people panic selling and the market is just going rock bottom pretty much. If we have a quick look on Footbin and just pick, just look at any of the gold players, we can just see the prices of them. So if we just have a look, any all gold players, and then we just sort by price, high to low. So as we can see, we've got some expensive gold. We've got Mbappe, still at 1.3 mil, very expensive. Ronaldo, 800K, Neymar, 600, Messi, 500. Kante 300 and then it drops off because Salah at 200k, Varane at 170, Mane is nearly 100k already, Van Dijk's 100 and that is it. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Nine players over 100,000 coins like Marquinhos 96, Son 93 and then it literally we're at 50,000 coins about 10 players in. And these prices are pretty much fodder prices. It's ridiculous how low players are on the market. Unless you're packing basically um, Mendy or any of these players, you're not going to make any coins from your pack. And they're literally, you may as well just put them in an SBC. If we take a look at just a more popular player, if we say take Dembele for an example, we can look at his price chart and it's pretty shocking. As we can see here, he was going for around 69, 66,000 coins. This was about two weeks ago, so mid-October. Then they dropped hard. Pretty much halving in price, going down to 33,000 coins. EA did bring out these SBCs. We've had a decent bit of content, so cards have held their value a bit. And then look at this. Two days, he has gone from 48,000 coins on PlayStation, now down to 29,000 coins. And look, he's at 21 now. The 29 stat was, what was that recorded? Yesterday, it was recorded at 29. And now he's at 21. He's literally gone down 30% in price in one day and... It was literally a Sunday night, like nothing even happened. One of the most crazy things I think is Pogba. Like right now, he's an 87 rated card. He's a decent card on the game and he's 30,000 coins. Again, this price chart, he started the game 100k and then we've just gone down and down and down. 31k, like again, he's gone from 40k to 31k in two days. And he's probably going to be like 28k soon. Like every player is just crashing hard. Obviously, all of these YouTube videos, you probably, if you're subscribed to a lot of FIFA channels, you've probably seen like six of these in your sub box. These are not helping the market, really. Everyone's talking about it and basically making people sell their cards even more. 
forcing the market even lower. And we haven't even got to Black Friday yet, but I'll get in depth for Black Friday in another video. But if you're looking to either save coins or want some investments or just buy or trade some players that hold some value, you just have to buy players who are already like minimum price. So in my club, I bought a load of fodder ages ago. These players have all dropped already, which is a bit annoying. But you just want to look at the players already at their minimum because obviously they can't go down anymore. Like if you take your 84s, your 83s, they're already, what, 2,000 coins? They can't, like, 83 is about 1K. They can't really go too much cheaper than their price currently. So if you want to save coins, either put them into 84s, 83s, or informs that are already discard price. So your 10K informs, 11K informs, or literally just keep your coins liquid. I know a lot of people who had squads, they bought their team, say you had, like, an 800K squad. If you want to sell that now, it's probably only about 300,000 coins, which is stupid, but I guess we've got to live with it. We've got to move on and see where we can go from here. Do I think the market will go up? Probably not much. Like, it's hard for EA to drive the market up. Obviously, they can bring out really nice SBCs, which can use fodder cards, driving the fodder up if the SBC is a great value. But these other cards, like, basically, if you take, like, a Pogba, he's 87 raid, going for 30k. He's about 5,000 coins off being fodder price. So there's nothing really going to drive him up. Unless EA just like half the pack rate and Pogba never gets packed. Or they just like delete half the cards of the market. There's not too much they can do. And we're only two months into the game. So who knows what the market is going to be like when we hit team of the year. Like these prices are like team of the season prices. And we're two months into the game. Another thing I want to cover is SBCs. So obviously with the market being so low. These SBC cards, here we got an 89 Verratti. You think, oh, that's a pretty nice card. But you can just buy an 89 rated card on the market right now for, what, 40,000 coins? So the problem is, it's going to be really hard for EA to make an SBC that is worth doing because you could have a good value 89 SBC, but that is still an untradeable card where you could buy a tradable version of that card for the same price, but with the current market, probably even cheaper. Like, we recently had that flashback Mahrez card come out yesterday. 87 rated right wing. Very solid card. And you're thinking, yeah, good card. How much is it going to cost you? This SBC is 165,000 coins. The card does look pretty cool. And he's probably good in game. But for 165k, do you know what you can buy on the market? You can, well, obviously you can't buy Messi. But you can buy Salah for an extra 60k. And he's tradable. And then after Sally, you could buy any other right mid in the game. Well, any gold one. If we even take off gold, you're still going to be able to buy some informs, some special cards. Like we've got some, obviously we have the icons and some of these really actually decent cards. But when we get to 160k, you can get a Kocha, you can get a Makelele. You can buy inform Jesus for 40k cheaper than the Mara's SPC. Again, you can get ones to watch Sanchez. There's so many cards that are decent that you can get for cheaper, the same or a little bit more and they're tradable. So why would you tie up your coins in this untradable SBC card? Like there's no real incentive anymore. We should be getting the guaranteed base icon upgrade SBC out later tonight. So that will maybe rise some cards, but again, the SBC is not gonna be worth doing. It's gonna cost you a lot to get an untradable icon where you could probably just buy your icon on the market. But I'll probably have a video out later today for that. I don't really know what to talk about this market. It's just in the bin. There's, yeah, not really much else to describe it. It is just in the bin. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like. You two think you should watch this video next. So maybe give it a shot, see what you think. But thank you guys for watching. Hope you did enjoy. And I'll see you on my next video.